In this video, The Legacy of Rome, we're going to go over five important topics. The first is Roman art, then Roman architecture, followed by the fall of Rome, Latin, and Stoicism. There is an old Roman proverb that says all roads lead to Rome. During ancient times, Rome was the center of the ancient world. Its borders stretched from the British Isles to Asia, from the Danube River to North Africa. Topic 1. Roman Art The Romans were influenced by the Greeks for their artwork. Examples of Roman art are mosaics, murals, statues, frescoes, and glass. The Romans were also skilled in gem cutting and metalwork. One other example of Roman art is the cameo. A cameo is a carved decoration showing a portrait or scene. The next topic is Roman architecture. Again, the Romans borrowed their ideas from the Greeks but made them their own. The Romans designed bridges, stadiums called Colosseums, aqueducts, and the dome. One building in particular, the Pantheon, is a building located in Rome. The Pantheon was a temple dedicated to all the gods. The Romans also built roads and invented concrete. So here's an example of a Roman aqueduct in the city of Kavala in northern Greece. And then here's another example of an aqueduct in Segovia in Spain. So the Romans had their influence everywhere, not just in modern day Italy, but in other countries too. France, Spain, Greece, the Middle East, and Northern Africa. Another important engineering feat for the Romans was the Triumphal Arch. A Triumphal Arch is a monument built to commemorate a victory in battle. For example, this one you see in the picture here is the Arch of Titus. Topic number three, the fall of the Roman Empire. The Roman Empire collapsed for many reasons. It wasn't just one factor. The reasons were political, social, and economic. More specifically, the Romans collapsed because of corrupt leaders such as Nero and Caligula. Another reason the Roman Empire collapsed was there was no peaceful transition to power. Usually powerful generals fought over who would be the next emperor when the previous emperor died. Weak frontiers was another problem. The empire became too big and couldn't manage control of its frontiers. Rome split into two parts, the Eastern Roman Empire and the Western Roman Empire. The Eastern Roman Empire became known as the Byzantine Empire. The fourth concept you should know about for the legacy of the Roman Empire is Latin. Latin is the language that the Romans spoke. Other languages that we use today that are influenced by Latin are the following, Italian, French, Spanish, and Portuguese. These are known as Romance languages, and they're not called Romance languages because they're romantic, although they sound romantic. They're called Romance languages because the root of the word is Roman, and that's where it comes from. English words use Latin prefixes or suffixes. A prefix is the beginning of a word, and a suffix is the end of a word. Latin proverbs are also still used today. A proverb is a wise saying. For example, on the back of a penny, it says e pluribus unum. The final concept for the legacy of the Roman Empire is Stoicism. Stoicism is a Greek school of thought that was popular to the Romans. Stoics believe that having good virtues, such as self-control and courage, is important. They also valued duty to the community over oneself. One famous Roman Stoic was Marcus Aurelius. Marcus Aurelius was one of the best emperors of the Roman Empire. He wrote a book of philosophy called Meditations. Again, in review, the Pepe list for this week covered five major concepts for the legacy of the Roman Empire. They are Roman art, Roman architecture, the fall of Rome, Latin, and Stoicism.